Good morning, this is Thursday, July 22nd, and today's devotion is Sanctification Lesson 1. This is by Oswald Chambers, and sanctification in the Nazarene terms means that we received all of the Lord upon salvation, the infilling of the Holy Spirit, now we reach a point where He wants all of us. He wants self, the self. He wants that. And the Holy Spirit will anoint that and bring us entire sanctification. This is Thessalonians 4, 3. This is the will of God, your sanctification. 1 Thessalonians 4, 3. You guys that are going for boards and interviews, write that in your Bibles as you're working towards your ordination. The death side. In sanctification, God has to deal with us on the death side as well as the life side. Sanctification requires our coming to the place of death, but many of us spend so much time there that we become morbid. We never really get into it. We never cross over it. We just constantly think about it. There is always a tremendous battle before sanctification is realized. Something within us is pushing with resentment against the demands of Christ to have all of us. That's the demand of Christ, that we be sanctified, 1 Thessalonians 4.3. This is the will of God, your sanctification. There's something within us that pushes against that in resentment. When the Holy Spirit begins to show us what sanctification means, giving ourselves fully to God, the struggle starts immediately. Jesus said, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own life, he cannot be my disciple. In the process of sanctification, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, will strip me down until there is nothing left but myself, and that is the place of death. When we are at that moment where nothing is left but self, we see it for what it is. For me, that place when I was stripped down to nothing but self was my temper. God showed me how horrible my temper had been my whole Christian walk. Am I willing to be myself? allow that to be seen, and nothing more. No masks, no putting on, but really allow God to bring us to that moment where we really see the issue that needs to die. Am I willing to have no friends, no father, no brother, no self-interest, simply to be ready for this death? That's the condition required for sanctification. No wonder Jesus said, I do not come to bring peace, but a sword, that's Matthew 10. This is where the battle comes in, and where so many of us falter. We refuse to be identified with the death of Jesus Christ at this point, because he surrendered all. He gave up self, physically and spiritually, and died for us. We say, but this is so strict. Surely Jesus does not require that of me. Our Lord is strict, and he does require that of us. Am I willing to be reduced myself down to simply me? Am I determined enough to strip myself of all my friends, all that they think of me, and all that I think of myself? Am I willing and determined to hand over my sim simple, naked self to God? Once I am, He will immediately sanctify me completely, and my life will be free from being determined and persistent towards anything except God. And again, that was my story. When I was, I come up in the church most of my life, and I knew I was saved, but I wasn't sanctified. I wasn't freely all God's. I was holding back pieces that I wanted to keep for myself, and the biggest one was my temper. When I pray, Lord, show me what sanctification means for me, He will show me. And He did that day for me. I had been praying all through. I was in a class at college. This was 20-something years ago. And we were studying sanctification, and I wanted it very badly. And I prayed through that whole semester. And on this particular morning, God brought me to that moment where I stood, stripped of me, and just nothing showing but self. When, when we pray that prayer, He will show us. It means being made one with Jesus. Sanctification is not something that Jesus puts in me. It's Himself within me. The challenge I have for us today, is there some piece of us that's in the way of being all gods? For me, it was my temper. I was very able in my temper, very capable in my temper. 
fighting, arguing, all of it. I was very good at it. And I used that to get my own way until God relieved me of it through sanctification. Very powerful. Because with death to self, there's resurrection in Jesus Christ. And that's the good part. When you die to self, you're resurrected in Him. The challenge I have is, is there some piece of us that has yet to be released to the Lord? Is there something we're hanging on to that's getting in the way of us being entirely belonging to God? Let's pray. Father, I thank you for these challenges in our Christian walk where we can uh, think we're doing so good, and we are. We're doing well. But Lord, you want all of us. You want all those parts and pieces that we tend to hide and tuck away and take out when we're spiritually bored. So Father, I pray today that if there's something within us that you're calling for, that we would stand before you, stripped of everything, and let our honest self be seen, not only by you, but by us. And I ask this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless and have a great day.